There's so much in Indian literature and film, but there's so little scholarship on it. In English departments in India often, until very recently, there's still even there been a focus only on European texts because of, of course, the history of colonialism. There's a lot of work that should be done, that needs to be done on Indian literature, scholarship, dissemination, telling people about what's out there, and of course, teaching it, which is a great way to do that. My name is Olka Anjaria. I am a professor of English here at Brandeis, and I'm also the director of the Mandel Center for the Humanities. I teach Indian literature and film, and also global fiction. I hope my classes surprise students because they rarely fall into stereotypes of what people expect about India or Pakistan or other countries in South Asia. From the U.S. perspective, if you look at media or you look at representations of India or anywhere else that's really not in the West, it's often very negative. But I think when you read the books from the place, you watch the films and you study it closely, you get a much better understanding of the richness of a place. Bollywood is one of these subjects that a lot of people misunderstand because they think that it's just a cheesy plot that's formulaic and the same story is told over and over again. I have researched the grammar of Hindi cinema and I actually look at how, how Bollywood actually works. Why are there song and dance sequences? Why is it, it always a love story? My Bollywood class is really a class where you can love the films and analyze the films. It's a class about how you study something that you love. A lot of the students come away from that class really falling in love with Bollywood. I teach classes of a range of sizes. In my Bollywood class, it's quite big. It's a more of a lecture class. It sometimes can have 90 or 95 people in it. But the majority of the classes that I teach at Brandeis are seminar classes, 15 to 25 people. And that really is the ideal size for a classroom. I get to know the students, they get to know me, and they get to know each other. I would recommend to students who come here to try out classes in departments that you didn't know anything about. Many of the students who come thinking they want to study one major, when they come here they take classes in lots of different departments and they really come to love something they hadn't really heard of before. I especially enjoy that at Brandeis. Students have such open minds and come in with a range of knowledge about India at all or Indian literature or film and they come away with a real understanding of things that they might not have known about before. The classroom is a great place for working out ideas. I mean, I tell my students that coming to class is not just checking off a box, but it's actually discussing and working through the ideas of something that you've read. And that basic element of just openness and curiosity to what's happening in the rest of the world is something that I hope they get from my classes and I hope they take with them when they graduate.